now available in paperback and e-readers, Isis, Samurai Goddess. The Goddess Next Door takes on Kung Fu killers in this action-packed martial arts Isis series adventure. Get Isis, Samurai Goddess in paperback and e-readers today. I had a reader leave a comment on one of my comic book videos, and this individual said that comic books are a business, and that is an inaccurate perception of the comic book industry. Now, when it comes down to comic book publishing, publishing is a business. However, the creation of comic books is a craft, and there's a big difference between a business and a craft. When it comes down to business, publishing is the business that sells comic books to readers, and the publishing side of the business is making sure that the pages are laid out, making sure that the pages are printed, making sure that the books are shipped to retailers through distribution, and counting and tallying the sales. That is the publishing business side of the comic book industry. However, the medium for telling stories in comic books, that is a craft, and that is a completely different skill set from the business aspect of the comic book industry. Now, when it comes down to the comic book medium, you have to hone a craft, and getting a craft is a completely different skill set, again, from working on the business side, because on the craft side, you have to understand certain things as relates to story, because when it comes down to story, stories are about making sure that you are make, telling a story in the medium, which is a visual medium, which is pictures. And in order to learn how to work in the medium of comic books, you have to understand how the story model for comic books works. Because the story model for comic books is completely different than that of a novel or a screenplay or a stage play. While all three have the same structure of a three-act paradigm with a beginning, a first plot point, a, um, a second act, a third act, which is the and the end. So you have a story that model that is the same structure, but each one approaches the form completely differently. So in order to work in comic books, you have to understand how the stories are structured and that requires you to learn a craft and craft is something that you aren't going to learn in school so craft is something you're going to learn over years of experience working on comic books the only way to develop your craft is by continuously working in the medium whether you are a writer or an artist and you have to learn how to work together on a team because comic books are not just something done by a single individual. Comic books are something put together by a team of individuals because your writer is an individual. They are laying out the story with words. They are creating pictures with words. And just like a screenwriter, they are laying out the picture with the fewest economy of words. And this is something a lot of today's comic book writers don't understand, and they'll try to write big paragraphs to create a single panel, and that's not how a panel is laid out. When it comes down to a panel, you want to use the smallest economy of words, because unless it's something major that's a part of the scene, but there still is a way to do that, you don't want to use a lot of words to do that, because your artist has to interpret the pictures based on the words you have placed on the page for that panel. So they're going to interpret that in a certain way based on the way you wrote it. So the fewest amount of words you use, the more pictures that the artist has in their head regarding the story. And this is something a lot of people don't understand about comic book writing. They think it's just like writing a novel, but a novel is mostly prose and that's used to get you to see pictures in your head and a screenplay also uses words to create pictures in your head. However, with comic books, you want to create single images that move from panel to panel. And that's a specialized skill set that an individual learns over time. Because each technique is completely different from the other. And some people think they can transition from the novel to the screenplay 
to comic books and then they wind up tripping up over themselves because they don't understand that each medium has its own structure, each medium has its own model, and in order to create a three-act paradigm within it, you have to understand how that model works. And this is something many people don't understand about the craft of comic books. And again, the only way you can learn the craft of comic books is by studying the medium. And there are ways to study it, such as going out and looking at comic book scripts, because there are a lot of comic book scripts online. And the other way you can learn is by going and finding an independent comic book company and working with them. And that's how you learn the craft of comic books, because you have to learn how the medium works. And this is something a lot of people don't get. And this is something I had to learn on my own, because in order for me to work with someone like Bill Walko in designing covers for my ISIS series books, I had to learn how to tell a story with pictures. Now, I thought I knew something about telling stories with pictures from my experiences working with novels and screenplays, but working on designing covers, that's how I learned how the visual medium really works. And when you're working in a visual medium, like comic books, you have to not use so many words. When you're a writer, yeah, you feel good about using so many words to tell a story, but with comics, you don't need to use that many words. All you have to do, really, is set up a scene, put the characters in the scene, and that's the end of it. I remember for the Samurai Goddess cover, uh, I laid out a little concept, and I said that these characters are surrounding Isis, and I pr placed each figure in a certain place, and after I put that on the storyboard, Bill just took it and drew it up into the Samurai Goddess cover, and it had a lot of action, and it really popped. It, he took the words that I used and turned it into a very vivid picture. It came to life. And the same thing with this Bride of Dracula cover. With this Bride of Dracula cover, all I did was make a few statements, sk maybe sketched out a few things, and he took it from there. And that's one of the things that a writer has to do. All they're going to do is just lay out a basic picture and then the artist is going to take the words that you use and go from there interpreting the picture the way they would see it based on things like the model sheets that they get and go on from there. That's that's all comic book writing really is. It's not um, something as complex as screenwriting or novel writing but it's something that you have to know what you're doing when you're doing it because if you don't use the right words, the artist isn't going to get the right idea about how the pictures are supposed to move. And then that's going to prevent the, the comic book from flowing. And if a comic book doesn't flow, the reader isn't going to move their eyes from panel to panel. And the action isn't going to move. And again, this is a craft and this is something that you're going to learn over time as you work with the medium and as you improve with the medium. because when you first start out, yes, your images are going to be very stiff and very staticky. But as you learn more and more, you're going to learn how to make those pictures move with words and how to make those pictures move with the drawing. And this is something that takes time to learn. This is something that you have to learn hands-on. Because comics, yes, there are schools for art and things like that. And you learn the basics, but the only real way to learn the craft is hands-on because the comics are really a very hands-on medium. You, you have to really work with this material on a regular basis and when you're working in comics you have to continuously be working at it to keep your craft sharp because story, story models they may remain the same but approaches to stories they pretty much change over time and what worked in one story many years ago may not work today and one approach to a character may be completely different from another person. It varies from person to person. And you have to learn how to keep make interesting stories and keep stories fresh. Because this is a storytelling medium and it's told with pictures. But you have to learn how to make those pictures work in telling your story in an effective way. If you want to try out some of my SJS Direct Universe titles like the ISIS series, 
the East Team series of the Temptation of John Haynes. You may do so by clicking the link to Amazon.com in the description box. And if you want to see more great videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon by clicking the link in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.